Hello students, in this lecture we're going to look at index and match functions and understand how each one works. Then we will combine them to create more complex formulas. The match function searches for a specified item in a range of cells and then returns the relative position of that item in the range. You can use the match instead of the one of the lookup functions when you need the position of an item in a range instead of the item itself. Let me show you. In this table we have some person names and their cities. Let's write a match formula. Equal match open parenthesis a7 because I'm looking for Warren Barry comma a2 to a10 is the lookup array the range that Excel is going to search for our name comma zero because we want the exact match type. As you can see in the formula, we are looking up Warren Berry City and not something less than or greater than it. You can use the less than or greater than operators unless the list is sorted in ascending or descending order. The result is six because the city of Warren Berry is in the sixth row of the city list. Pretty straightforward, right? There is a powerful combination with index and match functions that you can use instead of VLOOKUP. Once you know that this is the sixth city in the list, all you have to do is get the sixth city using index. The index function returns a variable or the reference to a value from within a table or range. Start typing equal index open parenthesis. The array is B2 to B10. comma b12 is the row number, the number of the city, close parenthesis and enter. The result is Armento. We're going to combine these two functions to find the person's name for the Dublin city. Start typing, equal index, open parentheses, a2 to a10 is the array Excel is going to search for the name, comma, match, open parenthesis, B8, because as we said, we are looking for the person's name in Dublin, comma, B2 to B10 is the lookup array, comma, zero, because we want the exact match, close parentheses. Take a look at this formula. We are trying to find out where the city Dublin is in the list between B2 and B10, and we are looking for the exact match of the value. Once the match is found, we are asking Excel to return to the position of the match using the match formula. Then we return the corresponding value from the list in A2 through A10. Now let's see a more complex example and combine the index and match to create a dynamic lookup formula. Here we have a table with NBA players and their stats. Also, here's a drop-down list of the players. What I want to do is select a player, and with the help of index and match, we will find the value of these three, team, games played, and average points. If you want to make it quick and easy to build a formula, you can use name ranges. For example, let's name the table NBA. this column players this column team and this column games played and find this average points We start with our first formula, index. The array is team and we are looking for the team. And then we want to find the first row number, match. The lookup value is C13 with absolute reference from player's range. 
the player's list. And we want to be the exact match. Close parenthesis and enter. Great. The result is correct. We will do the same to calculate the games played in average points. I can copy that formula down, make the necessary changes, and test it. The results dynamically update. These two formulas are very important for dashboards and I suggest practicing them a lot, starting from this workbook and replicate what I have done. Thanks for watching.